All right, Coach, congrats on the win. First 3-0 and start since 2020. Kind of your thoughts here. I know you got a lot of respect for that coach uh, in Seattle there. They're a really good, well-coached team, and that was a hard-fought win. Yeah, they're, they're feisty, and they were playing the game very well, very clean. Um, and I still think that, you know, we're putting some pieces together and uh, playing a little tighter than what we've seen from maybe some of our vets. But, um, you know, it's... It's a different year, and so uh, it's it's fun to watch different people be the the hero in the certain moments, and um, I'm just having fun learning with them. But uh, what a great pitching performance from Caitlin Felton and uh, Ava coming in, just st staying chill, uh, just fun to watch. What's the biggest difference for Caitlin Felton from the pitcher that we saw last year to now? Uh, just her belief, you know. It, and I'm kind of kind of outer a little bit right now, but she said, I didn't have all my stuff, Coach Bear. Still got it done. And that's what we talk about is, Kate, you're so good um, that you don't have to have all your stuff and you still are going to win games and get outs. And that's what I told her. You're somebody that always gets out. Um, but she just, you know, belief. She's healthy, believes in herself, has worked really, really hard off the field um, to get herself in the best shape for her team. 24 runs the first three games. That's the second most runs for any UCF team behind only the 2020 team, which uh, I know is a special team of your heart there. But just talk about the offense. Another double-digit hit game came on late. I know you like to have better starts, but still they seem to be making adjustments. Yeah. Well, we want to play our best in championship innings, right? So, um, but yeah, I I was just talking to one of our alumni's parents um, after the game and we talked about how this team reminds us of that 2020 team, which was so special and we'll still never know uh, how far they would have gone. Um, and I don't know, I think, you know, we, we talk about that because it was a, such a sad time to uh, not see what that team could have could have done. Um, but I think we are living through that year a little bit here. And uh, Jada and Shannon know what that feels like because they were there. So uh, to be able to see it kind of reenacting in this year has been really, really special um, to me personally and I think for this program. Sierra Humphreys has been making quite the impression so far over the course of these first three games. What have you been seeing out of her? Steady, gutsy, uh, and just an all-around ball player. Like, that's who she is when I recruited her. Um, and uh, she's doing exactly what you know she said she was going to do when she got here. So um, fun to see how she plays. You know, sometimes you're like, maybe we have 12 seniors, um, but we're going to keep her for uh, three more years after this. So yeah. You mentioned obviously there was a moment there in the game where you had Humphreys at third, Aubrey at short, and Samantha Ray at second base. I know you're thinking about this year. You think about this game, but. That could be your future infield next year, and they're getting experience now that could pay off for them next year and beyond. How do you balance that out, that talented freshman class, getting them those reps that's going to pay off down the road? Yeah. Well, I think that's what makes our, our team so special is um, we have seniors that can get it done, but these freshmen are on their tail. Um, and, you know, and Aubrey with being the sophomore. Um, but I, I think that's what makes it so awesome to have the schedule that we have is we're going to need everybody um, to keep them healthy, to keep them fresh, um, give them these opportunities, especially early in season. Um, and, you know, we, we want them to be comfortable, but not too comfortable. And so they're continuing to compete against each other. Um, so I, I think it's a, a special thing to be able to have that depth um, and be in the position that we are in. So we saw uh, Jasmine Williams in the introduction that didn't play today. Is there any update you have with her? Yeah, um, we're going to just kind of see uh, what happens after this weekend, um, take a look at that, and then we'll, we'll know more from there. So you, got, you come back tomorrow, you take on UConn again, another, which, like tonight, you took a little bit before you kind of got the offense going with this one. What do you think this team can do tomorrow to maybe get off, get, get off running a little sooner? Uh, get into a flow and I really playing pitch to pitch and, and hitting for the person ahead of you, people on base. Um, I think we're, Coach Beck has said it the best of, you know, we're, we're having some really weighty at bats, meaning they have the weight of the, the world on their shoulders and their swing is just their swing. 
and we need to remember that. I'm not taking away from what incredible athletes they are, uh, but again, they, they're human beings and their swing is still equal to one swing. Third inning, Cody nearly turns a triple play. Would have been the second triple play in program history, first in this day. What did you see your vantage point there? Um, well, I'm going to say we're going to have to check the replay on that because I think it was a triple play, but I might have a little bit of a biased opinion. Um, no, I just went out there and I said, hey, let's stay together. Let's play one pitch at a time. And that was quite honestly the hardest ball that was hit that inning, right? So it was kind of like, all right, we needed that because they kept getting these little dinks here and, um, you know, hit, hit the ball off the end of the bat there. And um, so being able to make that big time play like Jada did. And then my biggest thing was um, getting to the next pitch, right? Got to get to the next pitch. I got a little fellow here. Hey, you want to say hi? No? You're going to say go Knights? Okay. Yeah. What One is, more question. Yeah. What's the biggest thing that you want your team to take from the last time you took on UConn and, and tonight that you wanted them to, to do tomorrow when you face UConn once more? Play our game. It's no disrespect to any opponent, but I don't want to play against them. I want to play against our best game and our best selves. Um, and so if that means that we're facing a pitcher that um, really matches up well to us in, in our favor, I want to see us go, get after it, right? But just being dominant, um, like uh, I was asked earlier, starting off the game, just kind of going for the jugular and then holding that momentum and then going for the kill with the championship innings. Thanks. Best luck, Coach.